ho 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 welcome back to the channel my name is Jody and today we are on day two of Christmas countdown using the matchstick mouse Christmas coloring book by Morgan O'Brien we're just gonna jump right into the day two which is uh, our little mouse friend carrying a pine cone uh, so this is day two I'm going to adjust the camera down and we'll just get started right away we are going to dive right in to the main picture today. I have not decided if I'm going to do a background or not on this. Um, I think I may just leave it and not every day we'll do a background. So let's recap. Uh, we have selected these colors uh, using Copic markers and one Prisma uh, Premier marker for the matchstick mouse. So let me pull those out. We are going to use the Prisma color sand the copic marker e57 which is called light walnut e31 in brick beige and then for the nose and feet e93 which is t rose then for the cap we've got three versions of red r27 which is cadmium red r29 lipstick and r59 cardinal so those are already selected for us. I'll put those off to the side and we will get going on the mouse. I hope everybody's been having a uh, great first couple days of December. I uh, realize that coloring a page day is a huge undertaking and if it's a uh, getting too stressful already, then no worries. Okay. We've got more of the mouse showing this time. I'm hoping to use up a bunch of markers during this uh, December color marathon so hopefully and I thought this one was very juicy but it's seems to getting a little bit dry as well so I thought I had selected okay now I've gone over all the spots where I thought that it was getting a little patchy, so I'm hoping that that's going to be good enough. Okay, I'm going to come in with my lighter color, which is the Brick Beige. And we're having his nose be the pink color, and his hands, his feet, and his tail. Oh, I forgot one of his legs there. That won't do, I'll have to fix that. And we'll come in with the darker brown to do the shading. I didn't play Christmas music yet on uh, the videos because I still think it's just a titch early. But I will, uh, for those missing Christmas music, I will get some in here shortly. So have no fear. A little bit of brown. This isn't marker paper, so it uh, isn't the best for blending, but we will do a little bit here and there. Okay, now the tail is going to be uh, pink. And I'm not sure why 
We have so many mice in not just uh, Morgan O'Brien's books, but a lot of books have mice trying to make them look cute. I live on an acreage and mice are not cute. So, but we digress. We will just carry on making him look adorable. Okay, I'm going to use the lighter brown to do a little bit of shading on the uh, the mouse's tail. So it's just going to be a little bit subtle. Okay, now we've decided that his hat is red and we did it an overall light in the cad bread to start with and then we shaded it with the darker red so we'll that seemed to work quite well yesterday oh and i forgot his ears I'm trying to color without getting my hand in the way too much so So you got your Christmas cards done and sent off. Um, tried to have all of mine done and sent off by the end of November. I didn't send any last year. Last year was a bit hard. So I decided, and I, Henry and I, my husband used to do Christmas letters and we would do that together, plan it out and do all that. So this, instead of doing the letter this year, I just sent Christmas cards, but I did make quite a few of them. So that part was, was good. So let's do his ears and do the lighter brown. Now I'm assuming that is his ear and then a little bit around the edge. And then we've got pink. in with the medium brown. A little bit of shading there. Okay, now I think the whole mouse is done. Okay, the hat's done. Now, I'm not sure about the scarf. I don't really want to make this scarf red as well. I wanted to um, bring some other colors into this. We're going to have green um, and brown. So let's do a bright yellow. We'll try and use up one of these studio. I called them studio 21 in the last video and I couldn't edit that out. So I wanted to make sure you know that these are studio 71. And, uh, and this is the problem that I have with them is they've got these uh, growths on them, desalinization, and uh, so I'm just going to take a craft knife and scrape that off a bit. So hang on. I'm going to come in with a slightly darker yellow. So we've got Golden Sun. And yeah, see, it's all over the tips. It's very disappointing. It's also all over here. So let's see if I can use this anyways. I'm just going to do the... Trying to...
have a little bit darker on the, the parts where the be a bit of a shadow. Okay, I used the color sage uh, the last time, so let's go back and remind us. So sage is this darker color, and that worked out pretty good. This is how he ended up uh, being very shiny. <laughs> so let's do that. Because this is still a very juicy marker, so let's use up some of this. Okay, now there's some of his hat showing there that I didn't catch. Get the rest of his hat. I'm having to use mainly the chisel end of these markers because the uh, tips are um, a little bit swollen and frayed and uh, I have hardly ever used them so this really uh, I would not recommend these markers they don't seem to yellow which is a good good thing but they just haven't seemed to hold up very well And because this is also brown, I don't want to just have it be brown. So I'm thinking of either putting some silver on it. Oh, and there's his hand. Um, or some gold. I think maybe silver to kind of give it a bit more depth. I'm going to use a lighter blue this time, hopefully. Um, this is aqua. No, it's still quite. I haven't found the right blue that I want yet. Might have to try pink tomorrow. I would like it to be different browns than here um, because I don't want it to uh, blend too much into our mouse. So let's see if we've got. Uh, let's test out this color. This is uh, hazelnut E6. And it's pretty dry. So, okay, this one is gonna be retired. Okay, this one is mocha. I think I used this one yesterday too. Okay. I'm gonna do the tips a slightly different color. So we'll just do the long parts for now. I'll speed the camera up. So this is E, the light walnut, E57. We are now going to bring in my silver signal gel pen. And I'm going to follow the lines. Also going to um, cover up these lines here. I like the uh, signal broad. Uh, it's a one millimeter tip, so I like that. It's run, it uh, rolls smoothly. Now I'm going to grab myself some stickles and I'm going to be <laughs> careful this time, hopefully. We're going to use some green stickles, uh, so kind of the color of aqua. Pop 
pom-poms on his scarf. And we're going to keep the hat uh, clear. And this is the one that I snipped off, so <laughs> we, we all know what happens if I squeeze too hard now. I will be happy when this particular bottle is finished. It's been nothing but trouble for me. But I do love the color of the stickles that comes out, so... And I will put just a titch this time on a few spots. And particularly where all these little circles are. And I'm going to add a couple of stickles on some of these, not all of them, but just a few of these round snowflakes. Okay, and we are going to remove these white, or these lines down here with the silver. Okay, we're going to do some glossy accents on his eye. So I have my glossy accents in a uh, FinTech uh, fine 18 gauge squeeze bottle. Okay, make sure there's no air bubbles. It goes on a little bit cloudy and it will dry clear. It, I give it usually 24 hours to clear, uh, to dry clear. And uh, yeah, so that is going to be our little mouse for today. Again, I don't think I'm gonna shade with uh, any uh, pencils today. I think that he's uh, cute enough as he is and we're on to the next item. So thank you very much for coming. This is day two of our holiday countdown to Christmas, and I will see you on day three. Until tomorrow, have a great afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.